Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. And today I'm here with another quick and easy recipe using everyday pantry items. Today I'm making caramel apple dump cake. So let me show you what you're going to need. You're gonna need some cake mix, a couple of cans of apple pie filling, caramel topping, cinnamon and nutmeg, chopped pecans and butter. And I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the description box. So let's get started. Okay, so I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees. I've got a nine by 13 pan here, and I am just going to um, pour my apple pie filling into my pan here. And the next thing I'm going to do is pour in the caramel topping. And I don't remember if I mentioned it or not, but um, I did grease this nine by 13 pan with butter. And I'm going to sprinkle in some nutmeg and cinnamon. And you're just gonna stir it up. Next, you're gonna take your cake mix and just sprinkle it right over top. Next, you're gonna take your butter, and I have cut mine into little cubes, and you're gonna place them evenly over the cake mix. Next, you're gonna take your chopped pecans and just sprinkle them right on top. Okay, so I am going to pop this in the oven for about 45 to 55 minutes or until it's nice and golden brown. Okay, so I just took this out of the oven and I did let it bake for exactly one hour. So I'm gonna let this cool a little bit and then I'll scoop it out so you guys can see what it looks like. All right, so here it is. As you can see, I scooped some out. It is so good, serving it with vanilla ice cream. And you can definitely taste the caramel, you can taste the pecans, the butteriness, butteriness of the crust. And here it is in the pan again. It is so good, so quick. Just dump everything into that pan and mix it up. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. It really helps out our channel. And if you have not subscribed, we certainly love to have you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.